Today I'm going to show you how to install Void Linux. First of all, go to voidlinux.org and download a base image based on libvc and save it. I've already downloaded it, so I won't do that. We open it. We're going to install a new VM. Select uh, the image. Forward. Get it two gigs of RAM, two cores. Get 25 gigabytes. Rename this Wade Linux Eclipse C. Finish building and we'll boot it up. Make this full screen. Select the first option. Now we'll boot. Check it's still recording, yep. Review, full screen. Gonna log in as root. Password is void Linux. And we can start the void installer. So, welcome to Void Linux installation. It's implemented all Linux distribution made from scratch and built from the source package tree available for XP, PS, and your time with mining package system. The station should be pretty straightforward. If you control, please join us at the Hash void Linux on irc.org.chat website voidlinux.org. So press OK. Enter. Keyboard. I'm going to use the standard English keyboard. Network. Yes. We see for next. This is a VM. Source. We're going to do a network based system. Hostname void VM. Locale. I'm in the UK, but I'm actually going to use the US keyboard binding. Time zone, going to Europe, London, Group password, strong secure password, and again, user account, Sam, according to Sam, going to use again a strong password, and again. I'm going to make sure I'm a member of TTY. You have to really make sure that you're a member of um, Let's do that again, Sam, Sam. Make sure you're a member of the Will group. So it's essentially like the pseudo group in Debian. Gives you Temporary root access to install packages and such. Edit system files as necessary. And we'll partition our disk. 25 virtual disk. We use CF disk. And select DOS. I'm going to do a new 100 megabyte partition for the boot. And then I'm going to do the rest of the virtual disk for the root. Got those. Let me write. Confirm with yes. And we quit. File systems. So for the thing, I'm going to do a bit of these fat 32. File system and slash boot. Then for the main disk, we're going to give it extf4. And that's the root system slash done. Now we can install. Oh, I forgot to do the bootloader. Bootloader, yeah. Graphical for the bootloader, that's fine. So now we can install and it's going to confirm we're going to. For the operations of the the new file system, we're going to have the 100 byte VFAT or FAT32 partition for boot, and the rest is going to be the root partition in the Linux EXT4 file system. We can continue, yes. And now it's going to download the packages because we did the network install. This will take about 10 minutes, depending on the internet connection, it might be more like 5 minutes. 
I will probably speed this up. If I'm better at editing, otherwise we're just going to sit through this. So you see it's downloading all the packages and installing them now. Just checking that it's still recording. And audio, so we can do this in one tech. Not too much editing. Okay, so now it's finished. Press OK. Let's try to do some configuration and then we'll go back into full screen. Yes, and it's done it. It's finished installing. We reboot the system. We got the bootloader there. And there's actually a bug in the GBLC image that it won't actually add our user. So we will log in as root and we will have to add our user. So user add Sam plus WD to set the password, set a strong password. 
So now we will disable the root account by SPS installing them. Oh, sorry, SPS install. You can also use Nano if you prefer. Let's see if we can install Nano. Because we are the root, we don't have to use sudo here. Okay, it's because we're in shell. Don't need sudo, so it would just be ps install s nano. Nano is in the repose too. But I'll use them. I'll do npc password. And we will just disable the root account by setting it to login. There's no login in shell. I'll save that. Quit. But first, we will have to add our user Sam to the will group. Ugh. Okay, login is a good way around this is to log in as bash and user mod ag will. Add Sam to the will group. Add Sam to the tty group. Add Sam to the audio and the video group and that should be sufficient for what we're going to do okay and now we can log out we can look out again at the shell login is catlock is on so i disable that and login is sam that's now now we can see groups and you can see i am indeed a member of the world group the tty group the audio group and the video group now i'm going to install Neofetch using sudo password. It's going to install Neofetch. We set and fetch, we get the system information. And the one last thing I like to do is I notice sometimes you have problems when you update the kernel. So we want to freeze the kernel so it won't be updated and system updates. So I do that personally, I do that, m hold, then it's 6.1, now our kernel is frozen, oh, I forgot to do sudo, hdb, m hold, 6.1, and now if we do an experience, as the kernel is updated, su, we will not update the kernel, and that's how to start the base install. Next time we'll look at setting up the Sway Window Manager or the LXD desktop environment. But that's the end of this video. Till next time.